Welcome back. According to the CDC, every 11 minutes an American commits suicide. Today we want to talk about this somber topic because it is Suicide Prevention Month. Joining us to discuss this and especially youth suicide, we've got Dr. Adele Kaju, who's a pediatric psychologist at DeVos Children's Hospital. Good morning. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you. I'm so glad we're talking about this because I feel like a lot of people can struggle, you know, with mental health in silence mm -hmm. uh, and really be crying out for help and we may not even realize it. Exactly, and so what we want to do today is really kind of recognize that it's very important for us to um, talk about our thoughts, our feelings, mm -hmm. and that it's okay to talk about uh, mental health. It's okay to talk about suicide. Yeah, no need to suffer in silence. And uh, speaking of that, I mean, what would be some of the signs if somebody is struggling and we don't yeah. realize it? Can we can we pick up on anything? Well, there are a lot of signs, and sometimes it's hard to know is is this something that is, um, you know, just some some stressor that's going on, or is this, you know, one of my kids are having thoughts about suicide. So sometimes it's hard to know exactly what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, but we, you know, anytime we notice any changes in our kids, any change in their mood, in their behavior, in their actions mm -hmm. um, with with friends or family, those are all signals to us that something's going on that we need to ask some questions about. Yeah, and parents know sometimes it could be tough to talk to your kids and actually get responses back, you know, yes. long responses about what's actually going on, but how can we strike up that conversation if we're concerned? Yeah. So a lot of times, you're right, it is hard to get much of a response yeah. from our kids, but letting them know, hey, I've just noticed that um, this has been a little different, or I've noticed this about you and I'm concerned, is a great starter so that that opens up that communication and that, and that conversation. Yeah. What do we think is contributing to some of the, the youth suicide rates that we're seeing? I know uh, young people are dealing with a lot. A lot are still recovering from the pandemic. We have peer yes. pressure, social media. You're hitting on a lot of things that are that are really contributing to this. There's so many different stressors out mm -hmm. there. and. And so one of the things we, we can look at is how do we help support our kids um, in managing and navigating those stressors and, and really trying to help make sure that we're keeping an eye on, on how they're doing. Yeah, that's good advice. We know there are a lot of resources out there. For those that are not familiar, uh, what do we have available to us? So one of the things that we're doing um, at uh, Helen DeVos Children's Hospital and throughout Corwell Health is we're doing universal screenings. And so you may be going to um, a healthcare appointment that mm -hmm. has nothing to do with mental health, but we're still gonna screen because we want to make sure that we capture mm -hmm. and we connect with our patients um, before things get too serious. Or if they are serious, that we still get you connected sure. to the services and the supports that you need. Yeah. And so that's something that we feel is very important and we want to provide that service to our patients. But throughout the community, there's all kinds of um, behavioral health services. We have the 988 right. crisis line, which is really important for our families to know about and to use if needed. Mm -hmm. um, it's there for us um, in those moments of crisis. Yeah, we've got that there on your screen. Easy to remember, 988, those three numbers could help save a life. And of course, and just in talking about this, hopefully we are eliminating some of the stigma surrounding uh, mental health struggles and suicide. Thank you so much for your time here today. Where can people go to learn more about the resources available? So if you want more resources, um, you can always go to Behavioral Health website um, through Corwell Health, but you can also um, go to the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. They have some great resources on their um, suicide prevention okay. as Such well. Such important information. Thank you so much, Dr. Kadja, for being with us.